Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 95 inch long Easy Lube 3500 pound trailer axle with the idler hubs and a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. It will replace an axle on your trailer and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It is a high strain steel construction. The axle tubing diameter on this is 2 and 3 eighths inches. And this is an underslung design axle and by that I mean these spring seats here that your leaf springs will mount to. They are welded to the underside of the axle for mounting the leaf springs and that will give you low ride height which will make it easier to load and unload your trailer. The spring seats and the spindles are all welded on. Now you might notice in the center of the axle here there's a bend in the center. This is what will ensure the proper camber angle. Basically when you're installing the axle that bend should face up and the label right here should face the rear of the trailer. And basically having the center right a bit higher and the sides of the axle bent lower allows that axle to give just enough to compensate for the load that's put on the trailer. This bend will create a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires and ensure that the angle of the wheels is correct for your towing needs. And the result will be excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. If you notice on here, this will have straight easy lube spindles. There's no drop to the spindles. And the Easy Lube design is nice because it has the built-in grease zerks right here on the end of the spindle. Allows you to attach your grease gun right here, pump the bearings full of grease without having to take your idler hub off and doing each bearing individually. So it saves you a lot of time, it's a lot easier to grease it. These are cast iron idler hubs, they're very sturdy and durable. The bolt pattern on them is five on four and a half inches. Wheel stud diameter is a half an inch. And they do accept wheel sizes from 13 inch wheels up to 15 inch wheels. Now we have attached these on both ends just to show you what it looks like installed, but they will include the inner and outer bearings on the inside, the bearing races, the grease seals, the grease caps, and they do include the Easy Lube grease caps which are nice because when you do install these, it'll have the rubber plug in the middle that you can pop out and when it's installed, pop that plug out and gives you access to that Zerk fitting to grease them. Also the wheel studs, the wheel lug nuts are included. And they even include this nice tube of marine grade wheel bearing grease. <clears throat> if you notice on the axle, they do have wiring on this end and on this end it goes through the axle itself. That's wiring for electric brakes. So down the road if you ever wanted to remove the idler hub and install electric brakes on this axle, you could do it and the wiring is already there for you. This part is made in the USA. Weight capacity is 3,500 pounds. Now when you buy an axle, there's two critical measurements you want to be aware of. The first one is hub face to hub face length, and that'll be measured from the hub face right here on your idler hub. If you measured from this all the way across to the face or the hub face on that side, will be 95 inches. And the other measurement is spring center to spring center length. So if you measure from the center of the spring seat across to the center of that spring seat, on this one will be 80 inches, which is roughly your trailer width. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 95 inch long Easy Lube 3500 pound trailer axle beam with the idler hubs and a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern.